The squad's having quite a week. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, let's start with Cory Bush. All right. The Justice Department is investigating Democratic Representative Cory Bush over the potential misuse of funds for her personal security services, the Missouri Democrat confirmed Tuesday. In a lengthy statement issued after news of the federal probe emerged, uh, Bush said she and her team are fully cooperating in this investigation. The upshot is she spent a bunch of money yeah. uh, on security, which is uh, annoying because she was a person who oh, extremely is very vocal about not having police forces yeah. funded in ways that might protect others mm-hmm. who don't have money for personal security. Uh, and this money came out of the wrong sources right. and went to people with conflicts of interest who she yeah. shouldn't be employing. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised they're even doing an investigation. Well, I mean, the thing that's really because I'm because my standards or my yeah, expectations I mean, for DOJ expect? at this because point are been sort all of low. Sorts of, yeah. yeah, I mean, we're just being constantly let down. So it was quite a surprise when they uh, it was announced that the Department of Justice was investigating this. Uh, if you remember, um, Corey Bush was pushing for defunding police, saying that we just have to do it, while also saying, "quote Suck it up," in terms yeah. of. Her having her own personal security detail, which you know, I mean, we we pay her, we our taxes go to pay for these members right. of Congress. Uh, she was also paying her now husband, Courtney Merritt's, something like seventy four thousand dollars, which the, the, for for a security service, which I don't even think Mr. Merritt's had a prior much experience right. in security detail, but now he was her security, right? Uh, and the FEC. Uh, alleges uh, Steve's that Steve's listening was, like, how do I get in on that? Because he I could provide know. security. Oh, yeah, no, for, yeah, as a spouse and security. And, and they, uh, the FEC claims that uh, she had used $74,000 in campaign donations for the security. Uh, in addition to that, uh, she also uh, employed another fellow named Nathaniel Davis, mm-hmm. uh, paid him 152000 And this guy uh, claims uh, to have powers to control the weather. Oh. Yeah. And he, that he's like a million years old or a I mean, thousand years old. In that old. case, probably a good investment for security yeah. if he can really control the weather. Like, that's a <laughs> drop that tornado on whoever you need to. I think that's the key, what I you say. look outside and then you tell them, oh, I, I wanted it to be this way. Uh, so that's what's going on with All her. All right, so that's Although, Corey Bush. Wait, you know, it's not like, I don't know, she or any other members of the squad that we're going to about to uh, go into here are, seem very much embarrassed or chastened. They just keep on going. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Um, Tell me what is going on with Jamal Bowman. He's been in the news this week as well, and not just for the fire drill that he caused. Uh, yes, way, people but forget there about no, that one. There was really no punishment for that, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, he got a, he, I'm no, sure he I'd get, get off scot free. He got censured. He got right, censured right, for right. that. But uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, he is undeterred. Uh, mm-hmm. Jamal Bowman, the uh, congressman from New York. Uh, several things have been going on. The first one, is uh, he has been at uh, various uh, talks and rallies and, and, and such with people who he claims to be in awe of and that he's okay. almost like, uh, I think he said he, he was starstruck. I'm sure they must uh, be quality people then. Yes, yeah. yes, they were people who hate Israel. Oh. And so they're basically oh. anti-Semites. And then he said, well, actually, I didn't know much about what well. they said, even though I was starstruck because he had earlier claimed that, you know, he had followed them all this time and and it had inspired him and given them have all this insight uh mm. so that's the one thing the second thing is the daily beast mm-hmm. uh seems to have uncovered his blog yeah using that way back machine you gotta yeah. watch out for the way but uh, i should correct myself he did plead guilty to a misdemeanor in okay. the fire okay the fire go. drill incident that's okay. right uh and this this is a his his blog from around 2011 Not that long ago. He was an adult Mm -hmm. uh, where he writes poetry in which he uh, was able to, through poetry, uh, express his suspicions about 9-11 being an inside job. Oh, oh, okay. In order to get the United States into Afghanistan, because you know how much we want to go into Afghanistan. Obviously. Especially before 9-11. It has so much to offer. I mean, Uh, I think it was Taylor Swift's idea. Yes, probably, based on the colors of the logo. She's the psyop. That's right. Okay. So uh, th- that that that's what's going yeah, on. D- with just him. let me. This is yeah. a little excerpt. Two thousand one planes used as oh. missiles. Target, the twin towers. Later in the day, Building Seven also collapsed. Hmm. Multiple explosions. There was a home there. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple explosions heard before and during the collapse. Hmm. So, <laughs> okay. I also like that when this was when this was broken. Mm-hmm. 
you think it's going to be like a lot of times when this stuff happens, it's like in his former job as a, you know, whatever, like shock jock lefty radio host right. or something like that. It was in his former job as a middle school teacher. Yeah. Awesome. Great. So glad. So glad that this yeah, was, he was uh, later on a principal. This is, you know, so he was really, again, something that the kids can look up to. Well done, Jamal. He's not uh, doing himself any favors with the Jewish vote, shall we say, mm -hmm. uh, in light of these and uh, other incidents. And he is being challenged uh, by George Latimer, who is the Westchester County uh, executive uh, for a Democratic okay. primary. Uh, so that's going to be interesting for us to watch yeah. and see how he does. I mean, is it the whole branding for that campaign should just be like, pull the fire alarm. Let's get out of this disaster. Uh, it right? writes itself. I was just thinking <laughs> that if I was running against In case him, of emergency, yeah, call that's me. Right. I mean, no. I mean, you look at, you, you know, you just... All these different incidences, as long as you you have the means to publicize them to your voters, you know, my slogan would just be vote for me because I'm not crazy. You know, I mean, that's well, that's contingent on being able to act not crazy, which almost yeah. no one in politics can do. No. Speaking of which, yeah. uh, two squad members, uh, Bush and Rashida Tlaib, because we're going to we're going to get I, oh. apparently all of them this week, were the only two representatives who voted against a bill barring Hamas terrorists from entering the United States. So good job, guys, on that one. Um, you know, it's really... It's more nuanced than that, Mary Catherine. I, I guess I, I haven't heard the nuance. Lies. And finally, Ilhan Omar uh, in some hot water uh, over a viral clip. Uh, I think we can play a little bit of. Where Minnesota and Somalia, the Melkas, the Kunol, and their Kia had the Marduka had lay. I think I am Baliana. I see that at the school with the Duman to him. See that at Kuligin, who got up stacked in with the Huayne Hena because who behind you in Kuligin. And grab stagno. Somalia was Somali. Somalia was hal. Walala and Wadan Hai. Lulkan and Lagamaka Kapes and Ayo. Lulalba and Lagamakana Ratsanina, inshallah. Malin. Like it in the Anhai Sanhada. Lamaka Lamaka Kapinayo. Makawama had sent him the man that has her professing perhaps um, her interest in protecting. Somalia yeah. more than protecting the U.S. Is that a fair characterization of what people are upset about? Well, she is, as you know, Somali first and Muslim second. So I'm not sure we're American citizen and member <laughs> of like Congress. Third or fourth. I think that's third or fourth. Look, if she wants to say how much she loves Somalia, I get that. Right. And people feel this way. But if you were to switch out the word Somalia with Israel, how would she feel about that? Mm. That's the question. I'm betting not great. Yeah, um, actually, I do have um, AOC is making an appearance this week as oh. well in this update uh, because she's getting flack from the left because she didn't say that she believed that Israel's bombardment of Gaza is genocide. genocide. So they're mad at her for that. Uh, she on NBC's Meet the Press, uh, she did not straight up just call it a genocidal nation, one of our closest allies that is definitely not engaged in genocide. Um, so they're mad at her for that. Yeah, it's, the Hamas contingent it's is, funny uh, is be, upset at her it's about It's funny that. because, again, it, in some ways it's just never enough. She actually you know, came out against the defunding the Biden administration, pausing funding UNRWA, right. just because you have a few bad apples that might have killed some Israelis. You know. Oh, those were some bad apples. Um, all right. That's the squad. Wow, they've That's had a quite squad. a week. They're on a roll, but again, they don't seem to be... Quite a week. All right. Or um, I want to do a segment that is a little bit of just like a media narrative update. Uh -huh. 